Look, I mean, we were there, uh, myself and uh, another member uh, were there on behalf of the oversight team, and what we saw were uh, uh, 20 uh, insurrectionists uh, in essentially a, a jail space that was probably the nicest part of the whole uh, complex. Um, certainly, it, it, was, uh, it was a jail. They were outside. They were not in their bars. They each had uh, tablets where they can communicate, watch movies, text their families, talk to their attorneys. Uh, they are able to be outside their cells most of the day within the shared space, and they were freely interacting uh, with the members of Congress. I mean, the, the Republicans there, and Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, the whole crew, treated them like celebrities. They were interacting with them. They were patting them on the back. They were taking notes. It was completely shameful to see. These are people that tried to overthrow our government, uh, and they're being treated like rock stars and heroes uh, yeah, well, by, by, uh, by Marjorie and others. Yeah, apparently Marjorie doesn't think that they tried to overthrow the government. Let, let me ask you, though, because she put out a tweet today in which she accused you of not knowing the long history of outrage in Washington, D.C., about jail conditions and treatments. And she claimed that you and Congresswoman Crockett, again, the two uh, Democrats on this tour, don't care about the defendant's complaints. How do you respond to her? I, I, I have been to, uh, to other prisons uh, uh, back in, in my home district and, and, and across the country, and uh, the conditions that a lot of black and brown folks are across this country um, are nothing like the conditions that, uh, that these inmates are in. And so these inmates are being treated fairly. I talked to the medical director. Uh, they have 24-hour access to medical care. If Marjorie Taylor Greene and others want to have an actual debate and conversation about reforming our criminal justice system, uh, we're ready to have that, but they're not interested in that. They are interested in supporting and, and, and quite frankly, uplifting uh, folks that tried to overthrow our government, a presidential election, and attacked our, our, our capital. And so 17 of these 20 individuals, by the way, attacked law enforcement. So they, they, they can't have it both ways. And I'm glad that we were there to continue to call out their lies.